Well, our 2013 cruise is now history. We uh, we really had a, a fine cruise. Everybody enjoyed it uh, to the point that most of us signed up for the 2014 cruise while we were on the ship, the last day of the cruise. Uh, that'll be in January the 25th, 2014 on the Oasis of the Seas. That's going to be a dynamite trip. We'll have more information on that coming later. Right now we're going to start with the evening before the cruise when our annual pre-cruise dinner was held at Hogan's Beach in uh, Tampa, right at the hotel where everybody stayed. It was about, I don't know, about 30 of us showed up. Some of them lived in Tampa. They weren't going on the cruise, but they're classmates, so they came and uh, shared the evening with us. So we're going to start it from now. Right now we're going to start at uh, Hogan's Beach the night before the cruise. You maniacs, I've been body signing opponents all over the ring for the last 30 years. But now the time has come for me to return home, where I've opened up Tampa Bay's newest hotspot. Welcome to Hogan's Beach. Jackie Tucker said, I can ride that sucker. your hand there, friend. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Am I? I'm no. sorry. Hey, everybody's invited. I got you. The Port of Tampa is undoubtedly one of the, the best ports you can cruise out of in the state of Florida. It's just, just they've got it down to a science. It's so quick and easy and simple. Uh, we really love sailing out of there. Patsy took this picture of a really nice looking sunset. Uh, what a way to end the day. And here we're getting ready for our first dinner in the dining room on the Jewel of the Seas. We did a little different on this cruise. We all had assigned seating in the dining room. We had three tables with uh, 12 seats to each table, all next to each other. But we, we switched back and forth each night. Everybody would move around so we got a chance to uh, dine with everybody. Well, after a fine dinner, we all uh, made a short stop at the schooner bar. Well, it's getting late after a big day today and uh, another early morning tomorrow morning arriving in Key West. It's about time to go to bed. like a good hot shower put you right on to sleep.
JT, will you do something for me? Wait a minute, honey. I'm brushing my teeth. Ah, okay. I'll be with you in just a second, honey. Good morning, beautiful sunrise this morning. We'll be arriving in Key West in just about an hour. There she is. She's looking for the old man of the sea. Six toed cat. Psh, 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 psh. Cat has six toes. Oh, I think I'll stretch it out. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You look like the old Halloween cat now. Little, little kitty cat. Little, little kitty cat. Can I count your toes, huh? Can I count your toes? A little thing. The hot point. No refrigerator, so they used ice boxes to keep their food cold. This was pretty interesting. We were in the Hog's Breath Saloon having some conch fritters and Eddie Neal and I don't know, there was four or five of us at the table and we were sitting right directly below the one of the cameras for their webcam they they broadcast uh, streaming video on the internet continuously if anybody wants to go there and watch but while we were sitting there jackie tucker comes walking back in along with four or five others and they said that she, she said that her grandson had just called her on the cell phone and asked her where she was and she said we just left the hog's breath and her grandson told her well i'm looking at jt on the on the webcam right now. So they came back and we all got in front of the webcam and she continued talking to him. We all waved to him and what have you. It was very interesting. And this is the entrance to uh, what was Marshall's favorite hangout when he was stationed at uh, Key West and spent a lot of time there apparently and even left one of his old license plates hanging on the wall there and told us where it was and where the license plate was hanging and Patsy went there, and her and Tom, they found the license plate, and she took a picture of it. And it had to be, I don't know, years and years ago.
Well, the Mexican Navy was in Jezebel. Now, at this point in the movie, I'd like to say that I am not a fan of censorship. But in order to protect the guilty, not the innocent, the guilty, and you folks know who you are that were there, I have uh, cut a lot of this, this video out from Carlos and Charlie's. It's on the cutting room floor because I'm trying to protect the guilty. Uh, they will never be shown to anyone. But maybe for the right money, I could be persuaded. This was pretty exciting. It's hot in there, no air conditioning, place is wide open. 
And uh, every once in a while, he'd walk around with big CO2 cylinder and start spraying it all over everybody. And it was a bit cold, but it sure did feel good. Well, so far you've seen the, the ports that we visited and our time off the ship. And this this next and final segment of our video here is uh, just various scenes taken throughout the week, uh, different places on board at, at dinner and during the day and what have you. Hope you enjoy. Some of our neighbors came along on the cruise with us and they were so complimentary of all you guys and how nice you treated them. They really enjoyed it. Look so good. Yeah. <laughs> Our stateroom attendant had made us a little new little critter. Last night it was a monkey. Tonight it's I'm thinking it's a puppy. Out of towels. They fold the towels. Here you see Kathy and I on the dance floor in our wheelchairs trying to do our best to dance with each other. We're working on it. By next year, we'll have our routines all down fat. And I don't know whether I'll be able to shag or not, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give her a shot.
There comes old Dan Tucker. Kathy, are you winning any money over there? Baby. Oh. That's, uh... What are you trying to hide? Lean it all back like that. Didn't leave much except for the bone. Now who was eating that big plate? Let's see who was eating that. Whoa, look who was there. Freddie was eating that. And who's that next to her over there with all the cookies and the ice cream and the fruit? And Betty Upson or Mary O'Brien, whichever you prefer. And this was filmed in the Safari Lounge on board, and it was a Oh, the football game, the big football game. Super Bowl day, and uh, we all went to the lounge there to watch a Super Bowl party. And on the, on the cruise there with us was a group of about 60 people from Virginia Beach. Uh, we knew none of them. They, a lot of them were Prince Sand graduates, Kellum, and uh, I think one of the school, I forgot what. They, uh, we have the whole neighborhood play together. We have a good time. Where do y'all live there in the beach? Virginia Beach. Where about? Thalia, Malibu. Thalia, okay. In the 70s, I'm guessing. But they were a crazy bunch, the whole cruise. And they sat on one side of that lounge, and we sat on the other, and we pretty well took, took over the place for Super Bowl Sunday.